Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Vanessa, but you can call me Nessa. And today I was about to film another video with an old palette I have, but I'm gonna film with what I got from Ulta and um, it's mostly wet and wild. So it's this newest uh, collection that they have for the holidays called the uh, Fox Trot. Fox Trot. <laughs> And I got all three palettes and some of the items on that uh, collection. So if you want to see what I got, stay tuned. So I'm going to wear the glasses just because I can't repeat to save my life. So, <laughs> so uh, this is the box right here. And um, those packages from World Wild for these holidays are very bulky. But I actually ordered two items from Elia Girl because I saw this palette and um, I thought it would be cool. So this is from Elia Colors and I have uh, this um, liner as well to use it with the Wet Wild Collection eyeliner. I love it. So let me show you first the lip products I ordered. There was three sets. I got only two, the red one and the more mauve pink. So that's a push and plump or pumpy and the candy cane um, critters. So as you see, it's a cute package with the box in it. And it's wet and wet, so it's very inexpensive. And also I have two of the um, products on the set, uh, the highlighter and the blush, and this one is in the Holly, uh, Holly Jolly Pop highlighter and blush set, and let's see, maybe you can see it like that better, there we go, I'm going to open it, and you're going to see it um, inside, and also I have the highlighter, liquid highlighter, and the little tiny uh, beauty blender, oh, little sponge let's say um, and this is the liquid highlighter it doesn't say in a, a color so I guess this is the only one it's, it's kind of like a really sand, um very white and pinky color so very cute and then I had the three um, eyeshadows they all come like that with the bulk packaging so this one, it's called a Nugmet Pop. Nugmet Pops are pretty pretty. And more like neutral with green. And then I had this one, it's more pinky. It's the uh, Jolly Berry Jumper. And the uh, Sugar Plum Whiskers. And that's what we're gonna be playing today. So, I'm gonna put this away and open it and I'll be back. All right guys, so everything is out of the boxes. So this is the first one, the uh, Sugar Plum whisk Whiskers. I really like the little holiday design with the baby on the box. So pretty. And it's a very, you know, your beautiful kind of news reason those green and I don't know goals and they're very effective I would say very good for the holidays of course and that quality is something I really enjoy as well and this second one that I'm gonna show you it's very similar to this one so yeah okay you know <laughs> but I have to have it <laughs> I love wear a while um wear a while back 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 many years ago and I used to collect all her, all, well, almost all the shadows that they used to have, the the trios, the, um, I think they had, yeah, they got quads, they had uh, those uh, bigger pants like this ones too. And this is the second one, the pinky one. And so, oh, I love this one so much. This is beautiful, guys. And um, then I'm gonna show you the highlighter and the blush. And the same with the little nice, um, you know, design that I got with the Fox and Holidays. And this is the uh, highlighter. I do like the highlighters from Wet and Wild, actually. So, Wet and Wild has been one of my favorite drugstore uh, makeup from 
forever and I really I really enjoy the uh, products the quality is for being so inexpensive and this one is a very soft kind of peachy pink uh, I think they had another color but I just grabbed this one because I thought it would be something I would probably don't have so pale like that we have to see how this works in my skin tone the highlighter definitely it's uh, a color that I would definitely like very pigmented yeah it's very pretty uh, let me show you so if you can see a little bit of the reflection right there I didn't swatch too much anyways and the highlighter has the same packaging you know with the box like the bunny so cute let's go try how this you know yeah very very pretty very pinky <laughs> yeah yeah it's definitely very pink and then i have the um lip uh the lip liners look at look at that packaging it's so cute and that's the red I'm going to use this on my lips for you guys. This one is a more plump color, which is uh, the, lip, the liquid lipstick or gloss. Well, this is a gloss, actually. Gloss is not. And this one has a very nice uh, glitters, like gold glitters in it. Don't know if you can probably see it now, but they had a little tiny gold glitter in it. Now you can see it. Yeah, definitely. Right there. And the red. Oh, this one is the red. My goodness. The other one was the plum. Sorry. This is the red. Very, very bright red. I do have um, lip liners from then. And definitely very inexpensive. Pretty good though. This is the two colors for that the plum and the red but of course we're gonna put this on the lips <laughs> and I think the base I'm gonna do the um, same brand Colourpop so yeah be back so let me show you um, using the little um, sponge because it's so tiny, so cute. I had something like that from Beauty Blender. Beauty Blender? I think so. Or the Beauty Blender. I don't remember they have it. I think, I, yes, I think it's a Beauty Blender one. I don't remember, so I have it for a while. And it's tiny like that. It doesn't have that flat part right there, which I like this one. And... I use a little bit of the uh, MAC uh, Prep Fix Plus actually to wet it. Can't even talk. And the concealer I'm using, it's a very affordable one from L'Oreal. This is the, um, this is the L'Oreal. Yeah, the uh, H Perfect Radiance Concealer. This one right here, so crusty and messed up. And I really like it too. It's very nice. It's a very nice uh, concealer. <clears throat> it doesn't do miracles because my other eyes are a mess, but you know, especially, you know. My allergies and not sleeping that well anymore. <laughs> Anyhow, so it is a pretty cool um, sponge, I would say. So let me fix a little bit the eyebrows because I feel like they need to be fixed. This pencil, I really like the color when I actually light my eyebrows with it. Because when they're dark, it doesn't work much. But it's still like a toppy color, 
and this is from a um, makeup obsession very nice and heavy pencil I find this one at TJ Maxx and I was like hell yeah but they didn't have anything darker than this but it kind of works So we're gonna use the highlighter. I already set my foundation. So let's see how that. I'm gonna just tap it in here. I'm gonna use my brush for highlighting. And I'm just gonna. Oh, oh! It looks very pinky, purple, lavender. I don't know. <laughs> on person. So on person looks very very pinky so yeah so then I'm gonna just probably try to blend it a little bit and come on looks better in person it's a very iridescent <laughs> color shifting pinky kind of purpley lavender so yeah I'm gonna do the blush and you see this color probably it's gonna be way too light for me I don't see any changes almost on top of the highlighter yeah I really don't see much of color for this blush and my skin tone probably a very pale uh, lighter skin would actually benefit for this because for me it's not now I can see but it, well you see it's like the um, highlighter actually uh, underneath the blush mm. I don't know what you guys think because and then I'm gonna use the powder one on top because we are gonna look like a clown. <laughs> but oh, this one nice. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Definitely. <laughs> so we're gonna do here, right here, in the cupid bow, like always. but this one is pretty nice like the typical um very nice and kind of metallic looking shine even it doesn't look like down the pan maybe the mix of if you see well yeah i think i think yeah a little bit right there and now my hands are so dirty with the makeup <laughs> the back of my hand and that um highlighter actually it's not coming off just with the wipe so it's still here it's right there it's just like dry and stuck in there so yeah i think i have some blush I don't, maybe too much but let's see that's probably not gonna do anything but anyhow so we're gonna go and start with 
for the pink and then i think the next two this one they're so similar i probably gonna mix colors from i'm gonna use both colors from uh the uh, palettes we'll see so i really oh my gosh i love colors like that so we're gonna start with yeah this pink right here pretty pigmented and I need to look in the mirror. Ah, the eye primer I'm using is from Wet n Wild as well. Well, that one set right there and it creased. Okay. I don't know how this look is going to look. I don't know. We'll see. So, okay. Very pigmented. Okay hey guys, so I noticed that these two colors, this one and this one, are basically look about the same on the eyes. So there's not much different. This one it's a little more uh, deeper and this one is a little brighter, but on the eyes, I try to make some definition, you know, with the darker one. But honestly, it's not doing much of a difference. So I'm gonna go now with this one. This one has like a little bit of um, specks of glitter, very tiny. So hopefully, you know, doesn't really translate that much on the eye. So we're gonna go and put that one out. All right, it really doesn't look um, as shimmery or anything, so I think it's a good choice. You can see a little bit of um, something, but it's not very defined, like very blurry or anything. But the eyeshadows blend beautiful. very pretty guys so now all the rest of the eyeshadows are white shimmer <laughs> so and there's a glitter one I tended to use that one because why not so we're gonna go with this one right here it's a very very light gold almost silver eyeshadow and we're gonna go on the inner part right here right there oh yeah it's it's powdery so it's probably good if you actually go and spray your brush or some sort but it's very pretty yeah it's, it's very pretty very Boom. <laughs> So I'm gonna use the gold eyeshadow between the pink and this kind of silvery light gold inner. And I did it on here too. I wanna use as many of these eyeshadows so I can give you a more, you know, um, a better review. 
So now we're gonna go with the same um, colors I use on top, right here in the corner. Kind of meet those two right there. And then I like this um, <clears throat> this color right here. Maybe let me spray it to apply more on here in the middle. So the bottom lash is popping, popping, popping. I'm using basically all the eyeshadows. Almost. Almost. I think I'm gonna have to go and kind of blend a little bit of that color right here. This one. The kind of orangey color I use here. Alright, so we're just gonna do a wing liner, lashes, and I'll be back. Alright guys, so that's how it's looking so far. Like, it's done. I just have a little bit of a red lip liner. Kind of burgundy red up lip liner on my waterline. So, yeah. So we're gonna start now with this color in the palette. Not that dark brown because we're gonna probably mix both of them because they're so similar there's no point to do two different looks or something with those because they are you can get one or the other and you might get the same look because they have green and yeah basically the same thing so we're gonna go with the brown and let me tell you so far they fall off it's been none at least with the yeah those this one is very very pigmented but no fall off you're just gonna place it there basically and with the same brush I'm gonna kind of like try to blend it and now we're gonna go clean it and we're gonna use um, from the same palette this right here this corner right there to put it on top of the other one kind of like to help with the blending. Gonna go with the dark brown again a little bit. Just want a nice transition, and then now with these other, um, with the other palette, we're gonna go. This is it. This color beige right there. <clears throat> Oop, my mirror is so dirty. Sorry. Okay. <clears throat> Then we're gonna go with the first palette with this kind of ivory color to highlight a little bit. And 
So now we got mm -hmm. I like I like this color. It's kind of like a like a mauvey pink right here. But it has very tiny speckles of glitter too. Oops. Oh my gosh. I'm, oh that one I got crazy and I up too much. So I'm gonna add it like right here. Just right there. Because in the inner part we're gonna do the other shimmery shadows. So that's it. But yeah, you can see a little bit of the glitter specks, not much. They kind of fly away. Really. So now, yeah, it's this one. Ooh, it's very powdery. So we're gonna go with a type brush with, um, I love the greens. I really like the green. I'm gonna use the green right here. Let me not use any glitter glue. I'm just gonna do it like that. And we're gonna go right in, oh, right there in the middle. This is very pretty, very pretty. Then I'm gonna go with this other green, kind of deepest green. More outside of that other green, which I don't know, but I don't think it does too much of a difference, to be honest. Maybe a little bit. I really don't know which of the shimmer shades of, of if I put all of them. <laughs> I'm not sure. I know this one is gonna go in the inner corner, like I did with this one. It's quite similar, so we're gonna add that one. It's a little different than the other one. It's a, yeah, it's like it's slightly different. And we're gonna spray it because because it's gonna go in the inner part right here. Oh, very pretty pigmented. It's it's more gold. This one is more silver. This one is like a little more, like this one is gold. This one looks on the pan a little more, um, kind of light gold, but it's all silver. And then we're gonna go with, wow, this is beautiful. These two right here are very pretty. So we're gonna use the glitter. Oh yeah, <laughs> shiny as, but let's go do first the uh, this one, and then I apply the glitter. Well, both are glitter, but different glitters, colors, I think. And then this one. Oh, Jesus. This is a lot. Wow. <laughs> This is a lot. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Beautiful. And I still have some left. I think I put too much. <laughs> Let me put a little more. Kind of fix it. It's very, ooh, very pigmented. This stick on your eyelid without any, um, any glitter glue, so. But a little bit of fall off, of course. We take care of that in a minute. So now we're gonna go, of course, with the under eye. And of course, we're gonna do, hmm. We're gonna do this brown right here. And 
I really like this. Oh, this one is very pigmented. And then we're gonna go with... I actually like this green. It's pretty light. This one right here. We're gonna use that one. Right here. And like, I love green my eyes <laughs> we're gonna use that green um liner from LA girl because why not let's see i'm gonna do it that one on the waterline And my hands get so irritated all the time because anything that touches my eyes, it does that. It's nothing new. <laughs> so I'm going to go back in a minute. Uh, it's going to be a second, but I'll be right back with lashes, liner, and then we're going to do the lips. All right, you guys. So um, we're going to do the lips. So I'm going to start with probably the red one it's a gloss and the um, lip liner of course this is not just gonna show you you know how it looks like because of course these colors are not gonna go that well with this liner well maybe yeah if it's yeah I probably would like a more neutral color but No, this pencil is not very pigmented. It's somehow kind of sheer, in my opinion. Though it's very soft, uh, very creamy. It glides it's super nice. I'm gonna fill a little bit there. I'm gonna try. I don't have big lips, so it's probably not, you know, it's not gonna be cool, but I knew how. Okay, that's how it looks like the uh, red one it's really shiny but I know it's gonna smudge everywhere probably what do you guys think so I'm gonna remove it and I'm gonna do the other color and I'll be back so now we're gonna do the plum color and it looks pretty dark but It's not matte, it has that kind of shine in it. It's a pretty color. That's the lip liner and then the gloss. This one has 
very tiny gold shimmers. I don't know if you can see it. This one, uh, it's not, it's more, it's translucent, so like, it doesn't have a lot of pigmentation, like copper. smells really good like I can smell oops no <laughs> I can smell a little bit of sweetness in it so yeah <laughs> that's it guys okay my final thoughts about it this collection I really really love the uh, formulas on uh, the typical it's a typical I feel like it's the same formula from color I mean from <laughs> quite a while um yeah i really like the glitters because they kind of you just have to press them and they're to stay there it's not that glitter that they have in those um collections that for halloween and stuff that was kind of like a jelly base like or something like that and then on top they had the glitter it wasn't that good this one i feel like it's pretty good because you don't need a glitter glue. That's what I did here. And I didn't need a glitter glue. I didn't do any liner. Just a little bit here in the inner corner. And just the green liner on the waterline. And yeah. I really, really... I really like it, guys. I I really like the quality and the pricing on this uh, eyeshadows. Uh, but there's like something that you're probably gonna be um using every day probably not because of those glitters you know but it's perfect for the holidays because of the colors the greens those golds with glitter i really really enjoy it i really like it guys i just had nothing bad to say just good things i really love this one probably um I would add a deeper shade like more wine deep color because I like a more defined and dark outer corner but yeah yeah it's pretty good guys I really enjoy it I really love it so stay tuned for more um, videos coming uh, put your notification bell on subscribe uh, follow my Instagram, my TikTok. I got two TikToks, one in Spanish, one in English. And thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope you guys are well. Take care and I'll see you soon in another video. Bye-bye.